Okay, guys, this is just a, uh, a quick video, uh, an update video on my 12 beers in 12 days. <coughs> I'm uh, going to be starting that tonight, uh, post the first video tonight. Uh, I'm going to try to do the video, do the, record the, the review, edit it, and, and put it on the same night. Uh, if not, I may there may be a one-day lag, so I'll, I'll do it one night and post it the next night. But uh, it'll be consecutive, 12 days, no breaks. <coughs> um, probably going to do 13, though. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do a baker's do dozen because I found one or two more that I might want to incorporate into it. So I've got just a, a huge whole selection of starting with lagers, uh, or pilsner, some lagers, uh, some ales, a uh, smoked porter, and I'll just go from light to dark, and 12 days we'll have it done. But uh, first, I'd actually like to talk about mead. Okay, so I had to edit uh, this video because I had some kind of uh, lighting problem or color problem with my camera, but uh, just to, to step back, I made this mead, uh, well, I should say, I want to talk about mead. <coughs> um, <coughs> the mead is, uh, mead, there are three different types of plain mead. Um, there's dry mead, medium sweet mead, and sweet mead. <coughs> Make it with any kind of honey you want. It's uh, really basic ingredients. You've got yeast, water, honey, and you've got to raise the acidity a little bit and a little bit of nutri uh, yeast nutrient um, because there's not a lot of... Uh, it, the, the yeast will have trouble getting started in, your, in, in just honey because it's a complex sugar and uh, the yeast need help breaking it down. So you supply some yeast nutrient, and the yeast build up their colony, and then they can work on it. But it also takes a very long time to do to do a good mead, a true mead. Uh, this one is about, I bottled it yesterday, <coughs> or last night, and this is just the, the leftover from bottling. I didn't get a full bottle, so we had to empty it out completely. <coughs> um, mead, like I was saying, mead um, is ambrosia to me. And this is a mesquite honey mead. So this is actual honey that was made from the, the, the nectar of, of um, mesquite trees, or mesquite blossoms, I guess. Uh, I usually do mesquite, I should say, mesquite honey is a, a very light honey. It's a very sweet honey and a very light honey. Um, <coughs> I usually use thistle honey, <coughs> which is excellent. It's a darker honey. It's got a really full flavor. Um, and you can, you, I mean, if you can afford to do just specialty honeys that you can, that are, um, you know, 80 or 90 percent one source honeys, <clears throat> I definitely recommend doing that. And you get an idea of what different honeys will taste like. Uh, I've had mead from Scotland that was made with heather. Um, it, it, all meads are good. I, I'm not, I've never had a bad mead. Um, I tend to steer away from the drier meads just because it's kind of like champagne. Um, without the fizz, or with the fizz, because you can carbonate mead. But drier meads tend to be like champagne, and they're, um, I don't, I like them, but I would rather have a sweeter, you know, mead, because it brings out the flavors of the honey, the aromas of, of the honey, and I love honey. Uh, like I said, this is mesquite honey. This is um, about, a little over seven months old, almost eight months old. Um, it has not been aged in the bottle at all. Like I said, I just bottled it last night. It's been fermenting that long for the most part. I'm waiting for it to clear. Um, I like my meads really clear. <coughs> so this is almost like white wine. But, yeah, anyway, um, not to run off at the mouth or anything, but uh, meads are wonderful. There's um, fruit meads, with, which are called uh, melomels. Uh, there's spiced meads, which are called methaglins. Um there's Braggot, which is a um, cross between beer and mead, which is a wonderful thing. It almost comes out like a, a denser flavored barley wine, I guess. is the term. Like a, The mouth feels different on them. But anyway, mead is a wonderful thing. Uh, all you brewers out there, um, you can use ale yeast. I've used ale yeast to make sweet meads. Um, you can use uh, champagne yeast, you can use wine yeast, any yeast at all. Other than bread yeast, I haven't tried bread yeast, but I'm sure it probably would work. Um, but anyway, 
uh, thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned for my 12 beers in 12 days. Uh, hopefully posting the first one of those tonight. If not, the first one will start tomorrow night, 12 days straight through. Cheers, guys. Mm. This one doesn't quite have the legs that the last one had, but it's up there. Oh, 18%. This is 18% ABV. Uh, I've made them that have gotten up to 21%. And that's without distilling. Thanks, guys.